Hey, you know, I think uh, the other factor there, there is the uh, saves, and we goalie made a bunch of saves in the beginning. Uh, you know, we weren't shooting great, and uh, I think we settled down a little bit in the second half, and we shot a little better, and, uh, and it paid off in there. And what was it that really helped you break through in that second half? You know, I think I think we just uh, we made some adjustments at half uh, with our formation a little bit, getting two of the defenders behind the net, uh, opened up a little more space in front of the net for our midfielders, and. Uh, you know, I think we just stuck to our offense, and we knew eventually that our shots were going to fall, and, and they did at the end. You gave that real physical towards you in the second half. I think that's going to help a lot against Virginia for next week. Yeah, I mean, uh, Army is obviously a well-conditioned and tough team, and uh, you know, it was a battle to the end, and, and I think it's a great learning experience for our team, and it's going to pay off. Let's talk about this uh, new look defense, and of course the goalie, and just how. How, how, how important they've been for the uh, the last two games and all this it looked really impressive today. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, under under ten goals by a good amount in both games. Uh, they're coming out. They got something to prove. You know, a lot of guys are back and uh, from last year, and, and they know that there's a lot of talk about our defense. You know, in the past being weak or whatever, but you know they're out there fighting and battling, and uh, it's every day in practice. You know, they're getting harder and harder to go against in practice, and it's uh, you know they're showing it in the game here against other teams. How frustrating was it in that first half? Just couldn't seem to break through, couldn't seem to break through, had a lot of shots. Uh, it was a little frustrating, you know. Uh, only putting up two goals isn't, isn't what we want, but, uh, you know, we hung in there, and, and like I said, we, we knew they were going to fall, actually, and, uh, and uh, we just kept trying to run our offense and stick with it and, and make improvements on it, and I think we did. At times, yeah, at times the flow of the offense went well. Um, a couple times, sometimes we've tried to force it a little. Um, but because the goalie was probably stopping a lot, so that happens sometimes. Did uh, I know last year when when Adam kind of had the hot hand, you guys kind of talked about that kind of frustrating you guys and all that. Did you, did you see that as a factor today, this time around as well, or no? Um, we got a little frustrated, but like we said in the locker room, uh, we just have to we just have to put the ball in the back of the net, and we're going to be fine. We we knew we could come out and win if if we did that. We, we got to keep working and improving on that in the weeks to come. Can you kind of speak to the importance of starting off 2-0? When you look at the past three years, that hasn't really been the case. And right, it, Virginia it's huge. I mean, 8-7 you know, eight eight seven is still a win, um, which is huge. We're 2-0 going, going down to Baltimore next weekend. And um, we just got to have a good week of practice, um, keep up the good work everywhere, finish more, and um, just stay hungry. And, and how do you really prepare to take on such a high-powered offensive team? Uh, you know, it's going to take a lot of work this week, and uh, we're going to get right after it tomorrow and watch, watch the film for this game, uh, learn from our mistakes, and Virginia doesn't make too many of them. And uh, they're a high-powered offense, and I, I imagine there will be a lot more shots than today. So um, I'm excited to get down there. I'm excited to start playing against a team like that, and uh, I can't wait.